According to the IRS, the number one crime in America today is identity theft. True story. Do you know three people who have not had their identity stolen? Guess what? The statistics say that one in four Americans will fall victim to some form of identity theft. Now, go congratulate your three friends who got off easy. Am I telling you this just to make you paranoid? Kick the covers all night? Hardly. I bring good tidings. Because you know me, you can beat the odds. If I fail you, I have a $5 million guarantee in place to put your life back together. Yes, it does feel a bit like a superpower, but I refuse to wear the tights. Seriously though, identity theft is no laughing matter. Let me protect you. Before it happens. CFRN.net forward slash legal shield. You can thank me later. Your peace of mind is waiting at CFRM.net forward slash legal shield. Hey guys, Dwayne, CFRN, one more time. This will be video number seven in the series. What are they? They are recap videos, training videos, helping you to understand exactly what our concierge trade alerts are really all about. And I think over the last six days, uh, based on the emails, based on all the people who've shown up in the live training room, based on all the people who, during that short window of opportunity, uh, went from partner to grandfather status, I mean, it has been a true whirlwind of activity, and um, I feel great about it, but... I'm a little tired, you know? Now, these charts are already marked up, so I think this is gonna be the fastest one yet. Because I don't really feel like teaching. I had two mentoring sessions this afternoon, I had the radio show, had the live training room, and I'm just, oh, I don't know, a little weary. So, I'm not complaining, please. Uh, I love being busy, I love what I do. I love being able to bring, Michael and I both, we love being able to bring to you the things that we bring to you on a daily basis, in the room, on the show, and I really enjoy the one-on-one -on -one mentoring periods in the afternoon because I get to really know you as a trader, who you are, what you've been through, how many times you got beat up, blown up, and... I get to play a role in helping you put it all back together again, do it right, and build, hopefully, your last trading business. And I say last because it will be a consistently profitable business. And so, if it's not broken, we don't fix it, okay? That's why the spreadsheet we have, uh, we've changed nothing other than our shirt for the last four and a half plus years. Same indicators, same time frame, same strategy, same everything. We have switched, I think, a couple of markets because some of the markets got really quiet while some other markets got really volatile. So if there's any change, uh, that would really just be it. Now, in case you're tuning in to one of these, this video series uh, on number seven, and you're really not even sure what a concierge trade alert even is, uh, I'm gonna show you. Every evening, I send out to the subscribers and also those who were grandfathered in and who were recently grandfathered, I send an email that looks like this. It's part of a continuous email that began back on the first of the month. Sunday evening is when the Futures Trading Week starts. And so, Sunday night through Thursday night, an email goes out, hopefully before 9 p.m. Eastern. I always do my best. Tonight, it's gonna be a little bit late. I am sorry, but that's okay you'll still have some great opportunities. The beautiful thing about the concierge alerts is once you get them, you can start trading them right away, and you trade them all the way through the following day 
you can trade them right up until the next set of alerts come out roughly 24 hours later and as you'll see in today's results I'm not going back to last February to cherry pick a good day uh, when I give you the results it's always today's results what happened today to, that's what matters the only thing more important than what happened today is what's gonna happen tomorrow okay now we're not prophets or soothsayers uh, we leave that to the prophets and the soothsayers we simply have a game plan a business plan if you will so no matter what the market does the S&P can rally gold can crumble crude can blow up well we don't want that to happen but you get the picture no matter what happens we have a plan so we never wake up confused with a knot in our stomach our hair starting to grow back <laughs> yeah it's taken years but imagine if you were never at a loss as to what you were going to do next and it was based on a solid never changing set of rules Wow, that would be like a real business, huh? Yeah, and that's exactly what these emails that I send out. Last night, I got it out at 8.15, so I did real good. Tonight, it's going to be a little bit late, but I'm going to get it to you as quick as I can. All right? All right. On the S&P 500 E-mini futures, it did not matter to us if the market rallied or took a tumble. Because we knew that at 2349, we wanted to be buyers in the market. And should the price go to 2337, we knew we wanted to be sellers in the market. Okay? Now, let's see what these look like. And by the way, uh, you're free to pause the video, write these down, do a screen grab. However you do it you go right ahead and do it. I'll bring it back out one more time before I'm done so you'll get another chance to grab it. Okay? Okay. We said to sell 23.37 if you got the chance. The first move down was good for two and a half points. Important prices, important areas are almost always tested. We get back above the trigger. Down we go again for two and a quarter points. Okay? And then we get back above the trigger and we drop six and three quarter points just as the radio show was starting. See, this is the 12 o'clock candle. I drew this little square and I typed in guess what. Of course, partners knew what guess what was because partners get the weekly trading zones. That's these guys. And these are last week's zones. We don't really reveal the zones to the general community at large until Thursday. But partners get them at 6.15 a.m. every Monday morning. So when the radio show started today, I, this candle had just completed. This candle was just starting to build. I drew the little square. Guess what? When it became kind of obvious uh, what it was... I went ahead and told everybody, and then I typed in, will it hold? Just as this candle was getting ready to close, I said, will it hold? Well, it held. And what did it do? It took us right back up to last week's weekly trading zone at 41.42. True story. So two and a half, two and a quarter, six and three quarters. Now, we never get out at the exact swing low or the exact swing high. Why? Because we trail our stop or we trade to a hard target. You trade to a hard target if you're new with us because we want you to get the feeling of consistent profitability. Once you have that, 
Then we'll teach you how to take off the hard target and trail the stop. Price has since crept back up and it's hovering right here at this 41.42 area. Now, of course, current partners know where the next zone is and they know how to handle it, okay? If you should choose to become a concierge trailer client or take a trial in our live training room and also take the concierge trailer trial, uh, you'll get a good idea of how to handle those areas and what they really mean. Now, so you don't sit there wondering, unable to focus on what I'm telling you, let me just type this in, emini.cfrn.net. We can all remember emini.cfrn.net. What you can't remember is what happens after you hit enter. This is our Google Plus blog. We do have the largest uh, e-mini community that I know of on the internet, active community. And I've got a whole bunch of people that will want to get in. And guys, I promise you I'll make some time this week to get there, get you approved, get you in. Okay? You can still come. You just can't post until I've approved you. Uh, and I will. All right. On this page, right here, Concierge Trade Alerts, Cream of the Crop, to go straight to the $1, that's right, we charge $1, we got to make a living, <laughs> for the five day trial, which gives you both the alerts and access to the live training room and use of our indicators, and we even teach you our strategy for but. We're the hardest working guys in E-Mini Futures. We do all that for a buck. Click here. No automatic rollover. Includes access to the live trading room and indicators as well. It's not great. By golly, it's swell. We also have a daily double, which shoots out two trades to your smartphone every single day. And there's just the live trading room alone if you're not interested in the concierge. And there's even something else called the OTAD, which uh, is one trade a day, but it's actually two because there's a minimum of two markets. So it's two trades. All right. But really what I'm drawing your attention to is this, okay? If you go on our website, peruse our blog, you know, I didn't realize until someone told me the other day uh, a designer, our website, he says, you got one of the most complex sites, intricate sites, uh, 250 plus pages. I said, really? And when he quoted me how much it was going to cost to move it over to a different platform, I said, I think we're going to have to pass. Uh, he goes, well, it's 250 pages. And I go, I know, but we'll just stay where we are, okay? Because we've been in the same spot uh, since 2004, 2005, and we've built a really good relationship with Google. Our organic search rank is really good. So if you Google, uh, what color underwear should I wear when I trade e-mini futures, uh, we'll probably come up, uh, or possibly come up on page one, page two, in somewhere. You'll, you'll find us, all right? Now, I'm not bragging, I'm just saying we've worked really hard. We're in our second decade of doing this. We post a live podcast, a live radio show every day on the Google Plus blog, and I'm starting to do it again every day on the iTunes uh, blog. Oh, and for all, to all of you that went yesterday to that address I gave you and clicked it and subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, the results won't kick in for a couple days, but I can already tell it's going to be awesome. 
Now, at this page, what you'll find is you'll find a copy of every day's radio show. See, there's Monday's show. Sometimes they get out of sync. I, I, I don't really know why or how, but they do. Okay. Um, see, here's, uh, here's the trade alert trial day four. Uh, there's 411. That was like last Tuesday's radio show. By the way, trading shouldn't hurt. Get help today. Click any of these. So there's radio shows, there's webinars, seminars, there's Q&A sessions. We did a Q&A session back on Sunday. If you missed it, you can come here and you can enjoy that Q&A session. We had massive technical difficulties. So there's two versions, the regular cut and the director's cut. One's 58 minutes, one's 33 minutes. What's the difference? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. One of them's probably me whining and complaining about the technology failing me. But the good news is we got it posted. So this is kind of my digital diary where whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm doing on any given day, I come here and I post stuff. So if you have any interest in us or E-mini Futures Trading, uh, this is a good place to get started. Of course, you can go to the mothership, which is cfrn.net. Somewhere it says something about the mothership, and you can go there and... Uh, find a lot of really good stuff. Now, let's get back to why we originally said we were going to do this. Oh, and when you take that trial, you're going to get this email that went out to the partners on Monday. In fact, it's got right here the weekly trading zones. Uh, you'll have them, even though you're not a partner, the ones that I sent out this past Sunday night, you'll have them for the rest of the week. Sweet. All right. Now, back to last night. We already did the S&P, so we're going to fly from here. It was good. Oh, this is that uh, link, feeds.feedburner.com slash CFRN. If you type that into your browser, hit enter, and then click subscribe. You can subscribe a million different ways. You can subscribe with your iTunes account. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you can subscribe as a bookmark. We are available through all kinds of podcatchers. And what that means is, if you subscribe at no charge, you'll always have a copy of our latest podcast in your phone. So if you're stuck at the doctor's office or the grocery store in traffic and you need something to listen to, hey, we'd love to be your infotainment. All right? All right. Let's go to the Dow. We'll probably run into a lot of our indicators because, as I say, I had several mentoring sessions this afternoon, but since I'm not teaching right now, I'm going to just make them go away. Anything that's not relevant to what I'm trying to explain to you. And I was explaining risk on the various trades for the concierge. Okay. Last night, the email that went out at 8.15 said, on the Dow. If you get the chance, sell 205.50. I didn't have to twist and turn and worry if the market was going to sell off or not. If it started to fall, I knew exactly what I was going to do, where I was going to do it, how I was going to do it. So that takes away all the anxiety. It allows you to think positively. It's a really a great way to build a business, okay? And, and I'm not bragging on us other than I don't think we're more talented than other coaches and mentors, but I do think we work harder. We work harder to help you be successful. If we have any claim to fame, that would be it, okay? 
This first drop on the Dow was good for 54 points. Again, we don't get out at the swing low because we trail our stop, which means as this was heading back to set us up for our second trade, you get stopped out with profit. Now, if you enter our mentoring program, your daily goal is only $100 a day per contract. We believe the way to solve the trading equation is not more points, but more contracts. When you're trading the Dow, 20 points at $5 a point is 100 bucks per contract. So you need 20 points a day. Once you've increased your account balance by $2,000 and get the green light to add a second contract, those same 20 points will now be worth $200. And when you get up to the 10 contract level, those same 20 points will be worth $1,000 per contract per day. And if you choose to continue on to the 20 contract level, the 2420 blueprint is designed to take you from one to 20 contracts over a period of 24 months. If you decide to go to 20, and some have gone beyond, it's up to you, it's your business, whatever you're comfortable with, 20 contracts at 20 points a day on the Dow, it's the same 20 points that you were using at one contract, at five contracts, at 10 contracts, when you earn your way up to 20, so you don't just add a bunch of contracts because you have some money squirreled away. No, no, no. We are very methodical in how we add our contracts. Our rules for adding contracts, uh, our methodology in the training room is rules-based. Our money management is rules-based. Our aggressive risk management is rules-based. We're just rules, rules, rules. Now the concierge alerts, that's kind of where you get to let your hair down if you want to. And it becomes a discretionary trading. Or it can be a backdrop to the rules-based trading. And, and I think that really has become our secret sauce. That's what people are really loving. And you think, you know, into your second decade, boy, there's nothing new under the sun. But there is nothing new. It's just looking at it through a different lens. That's all. And people are saying, why, 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 weren't, why haven't we been doing this all along? I don't know. I was sitting here one day and it dawned on me that we should give that a shot. And it's been remarkable. Important prices, important areas, almost always tested. Back above the trigger, 69 points. So you figure it out, 70 times 5, $350 per contract. Now this thing actually dropped a total of 150 but here's what I think. I think very few people saw 150. I think most people, as this started to come back up, and they were trailing their stop, they got stopped out with some real nice profit. Because you see what that tail, or that tail right there? It tells me that the market's gonna make a move higher, and it did. Quite a move. You could have wrote it out if you threw the indicators, which you can use on the trial. Just after the trial, you got to give them back. Some of our partners will trail behind the BVC. Now, you don't trail right on top. Now, see, this is right at the trigger, so that, that doesn't count there. The trade has to get underway. But you don't trail right on top of it because you'd get knocked out right there, right there, right there, maybe even right there. You've got to be, you know, here. All right? Now, 
right here, the indicators actually told you to get out. Why? Because the step line crossed over this red line, which is called the CF RN MA1. We're so creative. And we were on a short trade, but we got a green candle. The CFR and MA1, the black step line crossed over it. And then we had a candle close green on a red trade. And you might say, well, what about this one? You know, if you wanted to get out there, that'd be fine. Nothing wrong with that although the next candle might leg down. Leg, retrace, leg, retrace, leg, retrace, leg. Okay, so whether you get out here or here, you had a beautiful trade, okay? Now, when this thing was down here at 150, go back and take a look at the Dow over the last few years and see what the average swing is on a 30-minute chart. At 150 points, you're really pushing it. Price is always going to revert to the mean, and in this case, that's the BBC, okay? So, at 150 points, and then it leaves a tail, and then it tries to go lower, can't do it. And when this candle's building, and I got this tail and this red candle that couldn't go lower, if you know anything about reading candlesticks, which is not the latest thing to come down the pike. Rice traders were using it in Japan 400 years ago. All reading candlesticks is a candlestick setup or pattern is a graphic representation of investor sentiment in the time frame being observed. Those are Steve Bigelow's words, not mine. He's a great guy, one of the first guests on the CFRN radio program back in 2006. Just as I was leaving equities and coming into futures, he was leaving futures and heading into equities. So we were two ships passing in the night. He was kind enough to come on the show and he sent me a copy of one of his books which really uh, was a bit of a game changer for me. You all know my favorite books, Trading in the Zone, written by my dearly departed friend, Mark Douglas. I uh, miss him uh, so much. We used to spend a lot of time on the phone, but uh, his book, his work, his life's work is still there, and it can still help you today. If you take the concierge trial this week, I will give you a legal and legitimate copy of Trading in the Zone in the form of an audiobook. His wife, who's still with us, she'll still get her royalty, but she'll pay absolutely nothing for the book. In the bookstore at Barnes & Nobles, I paid $40 for my book. The pages are falling out of it now. Not And it wasn't poor craftsmanship. I just read the heck out of it. Now, come tomorrow morning for the live training room and say, Hey, Dwayne, I want the book. Audible is a sponsor of our radio program. So we're able to give you a free copy of the book. Not one of those bootleg versions floating around the internet. Shame on Goldman Sachs for passing those out. But anyway, um, there I said it. Um, I called him on it. You guys, you did wrong. You should apologize to her. And for every copy you gave away, you should pay her her royalty. End of story. Okay? When I give you the free audio book, which is really cool because you put it on your phone, on your tablet, you're in traffic, you're in the line at the grocery store, you're at the DMV, the doctor put in your earbuds and feed your brain good food okay so it can be healthy and strong 
and help you become a better trader. So I'd probably be looking to get out here, not because I don't think it can go lower, but I just know that eventually it's going to revert to the mean. And I'm seeing the investor sentiment here. It doesn't want to go lower. So if it can't go lower, guess what? It's going to go higher. Okay, 150 points times 5 bucks, that's $750. Now by the time I see this and this, and I'm starting to see this, well that $750 ship, that's sailed. That's one contract. But I can still, you know, get out with 550, maybe 600. That's a nice day's work, especially if you've earned your way up to being a 5, 10 contract trader. Okay? All right. So, let's get these out of the way. So, you can clearly see we had a nice move there, we had a nice move there. A really nice move here, but I think most people probably ended up getting out somewhere in here. Okay? All right. Soybeans. Last night, the email went out, and we said, if you get a chance, sell 948. It dropped $400 per contract. I don't need to say anything else about that. Now, last night, I sent out the K contract for crude. But today, on the daily double, the one trade a day, and the alerts I'm about to send out here shortly, those we're, we've rolled forward to the June contract. So make a note, in crude, we're now trading, as of today, GCLM7. This, what you're seeing here, is the last time, last night, that we sent out, or will send out, alerts for the K contract. Uh, typical rollover kind of day, 90 bucks, we said sell 52.60, Next move down was 460, and then we get above the trigger, and the next move down is $500 per contract. Now, when I measured that, it had only gone 70 bucks, but now we can see that it's gone quite a bit further. It went from 5260 to a low of 5225. So 60 minus 25. That's $350 per contract available. Remember, the alerts are tradable until the next set arrives in your inbox. Okay? Copy that. Next, we have bonds. Big day for the bonds. Really big day. I'll also teach you how to use the average true range tomorrow if you come for the class. Okay. Okay. Get rid of this teaching tool. Get rid of these indicators. Bonds. We said consider buying 153.29 if you get a shot. Ran up 10 ticks at 31.25 per tick. Got back below the trigger. Ran up $1,000 plus per contract. In fact, we're 10 ticks. There's 32 ticks to a point. We're 10 ticks shy of being at $2,000 per contract. If this goes up to, see, it was 153.29. So at 154.29, the 
That's a thousand. I'm sorry, it would have to go to one fifty five twenty nine. So it would take another fourteen ticks to be two grand. We have a rule of thumb that says anytime you make a thousand dollars per contract on one instrument in one trading day, take the money and put the mouse away. Because look what happened on this pullback. It took you out anyway. Unless you stayed in. I don't know. Okay. NQ did a little rocking. And it did it with such a little risk. I love it. Sell 53.97. First move down 19 points at $20 per point. That's not bad. Price gets back above the trigger. Down we go again. And where do we end up? Uh, 97 minus 97 minus 84 yeah 13 points yeah that's what it is it's just kind of funny there let me arrow it <clears throat> yeah 13 points times $20 per point we never get out of the swing high or swing low. I know I say that a lot, but it's important that you understand it. It's also important that you understand trading is risky. You can lose all of your money and then some. You must speak with a licensed investment professional before making any investment decision. In fact, you got to talk to one just to open an account, all right? So there's two I know of that will spend as much time as you need explaining things. That's Bert and Leslie over at Daniel's Trading. Their phone number is 866-928-3310. We don't get any commissions or kickbacks. If you trade with them, that's between you and them. Uh, we also, our indicators will run on, now the concierge, you can trade that on any platform. But if you want to use the indicators, uh, you can run them on DT Pro. That's the platform I'm using now. You can run them on Ninja Trader or any broker who clears through Gain Capital. And that's a whole lot of brokers. They have a platform just like this. Our indicators will run there after Michael goes in and tweaks a couple things under the hood. And also multicharts.net. Not multicharts, but multicharts.net. Net. All right. So any of those brokers will be happy to take your business. Now, in order for a new trade to happen, we have to get above the trigger. The trigger here being 53.97. What's the swing high? 96.75. This would have had to go two ticks higher before we could have considered selling it again. Well, yeah, but that's so close. Well, you know, if you're trading it in a discretionary manner, it's entirely up to you, okay? All right. Well, I think we're just about done here. Gold? Yeah, gold. Gold. We said to consider buying 1286. First move was 130 bucks, got back below the trigger, another 130 bucks per contract. Back below the trigger, 320 per contract. Back below the trigger, 250 per contract. Then we triggered on the short side for a whopping uh, $140 per contract. That's what was available. And then we uh, triggered on the long side again for a total of $840 per contract available. Now we do eight markets every night. We just did the NQ. We just did the goal. We've already done the cr 
crude. Uh, we did the bonds. The only thing we haven't done is the Russell. Okay, so here is the Russell. We said to sell 1359, and the first move down was good for $350 per contract. Got back above the trigger. See how this one didn't get above the trigger? Got right to it, 13.59, but didn't go above it. This one did, and another $350 per contract available. All right. Now, this was Monday stuff over here, 450, 900. This is Tuesday stuff. Okay. Everything I've shown you is today, Tuesday. Again, we never go back and. And hunt and cherry pick, you know. Well, we had this really killer day last March. Oh, wait, no, that was March of 2015. Yeah, no, today. Good, bad, ugly. We don't sweep anything under the carpet because that would be wrong. Um, the truth of trading, the truth about trading is that you will get stopped out. Just like if you own a sandwich shop, you will buy salami and cheese. And you'll buy bread or bake your own. Cost of doing business, just like commissions. But as a futures trader, you don't have a lot of cost. You have commissions. You have trades that get stopped out. You probably already have a computer, electricity, and an internet connection. So there you go. Okay. Now, I'll walk you through this just one more time, and then we say goodnight, okay? Don't use any other link, because I don't want you to get stuck into some kind of rollover situation. We originally were doing it that way because we thought it would make it convenient for people, but people would forget to cancel if they didn't want to subscribe, and so then we got to go through, it's a, it's a, it's complicated to do a refund. We don't. I mean, we don't mind doing it, but it's when when an accident like that happens. In fact, I would always tell people, if by accident you forget, I think I was programming people when I would say that. Oh, by the way, if you forget to cancel, don't worry. And so we finally shut that thing down. Unfortunately, I had left links all over the internet, which is a pretty big place. Uh, that had the link to, for the rollover. So just use this one. God, I gotta use so many words to say such a simple thing. emini.cfrn.net. It will take you to this page. And it will look like that. Above the baseball guy, click this link. To go straight to the $1 for five days trial, click here. It's be, after that, it's self-explanatory. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to get a whole bunch of, no, I've actually cut it down to about two emails. You'll get a couple of emails, and in those emails, you'll have the link and the password for the live training room. You'll have the weekly trading zones. You'll have some training videos on how to trade the concierge trade alerts. And now, trade them in SIM until you get them figured out. Trade them in SIM until you and I have had a chance to spend some one-on-one -on -one time in a private mentoring session, okay? Then don't just throw your money away. I mean, it, it's better that you give it to some needed charity than to just throw it away. And I'm telling you, if you don't let me train you first, you're going to end up just throwing it away. So with that said, Fred, I'm going to get out of here. I know you got a life to live, things to do, family to spend time with, TV shows to watch. Oh, cable guy came today. For those of you that were in the training room and on the radio show today, you know I was pretty pumped about cable guy. He shows up. He doesn't have the right modem. I'm supposed to go from 150 to 300 megs. He's like, I can just come back another time. I'm like, well... All right, you're supposed to be upgrading me to the Contour 2 cable system, and I'm going to get all these fancy channels, and I'm going to pay a fraction of what I was paying before as a, 
as a 20-year loyal customer of Cox Cable. When I called in and asked them to shave a little off my $225 a month TV cable bill with no specialty channels, the best they could do was give me HBO and knock off $2.50. I said, shut it down. He's like, what? I gave you a deal. I said, just turn it off. Well, what are you going to do? I go, don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. And I'll, I'll, maybe I'll read a book. So <laughs> he goes, well, okay. What day do you want it shut off? I said, how soon can you get it shut off? He said the 17th, and sure enough, last night we're watching TV and it just went off. No problem. Just grab the remote, switched it over to the Amazon Fire Stick, just kept on watching. Almost seamless. And then my phone rang, and it was the Cox private installer that I had been talking with who also has a sales force and he said oh they turned it off and I go yes they did he goes are you ready for the super duper package I have for you and I go yeah I'm gonna have 300 he's got to come back with the modem I'm gonna have 300 megs of internet that's down I'm gonna have I forget how much backup uh, but it's a lot okay and I've got the the box downstairs that will record six shows at one time. And upstairs, the bedroom, you have what's called the slave box. It's this little tiny thing. <laughs> I looked at it and I go, you're trying to tell me that little thing does what that great big thing used to do? He goes, yep, and better. And then my wife walked in the bedroom and she looked at it and she goes, no, something's not right. He goes, I promise you. It does it all and more better. Hmm. Okay. And, you know, I'm a little bit of a geek. Uh, here's the really cool part. When you want to watch a specific TV show or, you know, you want to record something or you can talk to your remote. I know. Now, most of you probably already have this and have had it for years. But I'm like a kid in a candy store, man. You press the little button, and like a walkie-talkie, you hold it down, and you say, Chicago Fire, and bang, Chicago Fire shows up on the screen. You can record the season, record the series, record only the new show, all that stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> but the really beautiful part is instead of paying $225 a month for nothing, I'm getting all of that for 140 bucks, and HBO, and Showtime, and Cinemax, and I, I don't know what else, but God's good, you know. But what a testament it is to Cox's business model that a loyal customer had to disconnect their service had to disconnect their service to get a good deal at a good price. Huh. Now, in my office, I also have a TV, but I'm using one of those little mini boxes. Uh, it's just for channels under 100. Uh, and then in the guest bedroom, I'm just using a little mini box in there. Those are like two bucks. A, you pay two bucks a month for those or something. So... Anyway, I'm going to go play with my new TV stuff, and I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk, and I think last night APB recorded. That's a pretty cool new show. This billionaire, his last name is Reeves, I kid you not, uh, Reeves Industries. He got so sick of crime in his town, it's either Chicago or Baltimore. He went before the city council and said... I'll give you a hundred million dollars for District 13. And so he retrofitted the worst crime district in that city with all of this super cool stuff that he invented over at Reeves Industries. It's sort of a fantasy fairy tale, 
but there's comps and, and they have like this Kevlar that <laughs> can stop a cannonball and souped up cars and they got apps on their phone. When a citizen sees a crime being committed, they can use the app to report it. That's pretty neat. So if you haven't watched APB, give it a shot. And I usually tell you go back to the first episode, season one, because of the character bill. This is just good time TV. Just just enjoy it, okay? All right, that's it. Now, I really want to see you in the live training room tomorrow. And all you really have to do is go here. Click this, pay the dollar. I'll get notified, even if I'm down playing with my TV stuff, I'll get notified that you just signed up. I'll take a break, I'll come, I'll send you the link and the password to the training room. I'll send you the weekly trading zones for this week. And I'll send you two training videos for the concierge trade alerts. And I'll send you instructions on how to arrange a personal mentoring session with me so I can really teach you some good stuff. All right? Okay. That's all I got. Love you. Sleep good. See you tomorrow morning in the live training room. Take care.